Each year for Gasparilla, we like to profile a new crew. And this year, there will be a group with a unique background. They are a group of wounded warriors who are representing the Warrior Games that's coming to Tampa. They've served their country on the battlefield and are now overcoming significant injuries or illnesses. Their competitive spirit still burns bright. That's the idea behind the Warrior Games. Army Ranger Corey Remsburg may personify that spirit better than anyone. This is Remsburg meeting President Barack Obama in France. Eight months later, Obama greeted Remsburg again, this time in the hospital, after he was nearly killed by a massive roadside bomb in Afghanistan. How are you? I had the pleasure of meeting Remsburg in the Haley VA Hospital in Tampa, after he was done speaking with General Raymond Thomas. What'd you do, what'd you do today? Where'd you go? General Thomas also served as a ranger. He and Remsburg have a special bond. And if you speak to Corey for just a short time, it's easy to see why. Even with his injuries, he wants to compete in the Warrior Games. I gotta try to give him my all. General Thomas told me men like Remsburg are what the Warrior Games are all about. Um, it's a great showcase of the wounded warriors from our Department of Defense, uh, from all four services of, of the Department of Defense and some of our allied partners. Uh, but it's just an incredible adaptive uh, sports venue um, that, that really trots out the resilience of, of human beings. So this June in Tampa, we will all get to see that their competitive spirit is alive and well. It is as close to being in the Olympics as anything you could imagine. So if you see a float that has some guys on wheelchairs on it, Know that it's a group of men that have given a great deal for their country. In Tampa, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.